Welcome back to the channel. So, Assetto Corsa Competiziana 1.9 update console release. Game changing, like the PC was, but also game breaking. I had a race video done on a console um, that I was going to post today, but I'm going to leave it for next time. I think this topic is far more important. Console release of Competiziane has been having a far different treatment than the PC counterpart. If something is wrong in the PC, sometimes it takes weeks to correct, if not days. In the case of the console, it's taking far longer time, it seems like it's not having the same amount of attention. I don't play a lot of Assetto Corsa Competizione in consoles, generally I just do this sporadically and uh, I won't be releasing another video after the race one for a couple of weeks I guess because now I am currently in the middle of doing the review of the Mazza R12 and the Kia S wheel. So if you want to keep up to date, subscribe to the channel. I don't know the full extent of bugs, but hopefully this video will help you guys out to have a little more awareness and maybe you can put a little more pressure towards the developers. I've done a video about the game changing nature of the 1.9 update and there's plenty to like on that update. But on the same video, I've received reports of bugs like uh, championship freezes when you restart uh, a race on a championship or in single player it also freezes the game or crashes the game i've seen online random punctures in situations where the puncture shouldn't happen so the tire will be an optimal condition you're driving just on a tarmac and then the tire just goes the worst defender by far seems to be the grip going i think it's the aero grip going it is hilarious for me as i don't play competizione uh, often and it looks like synchronized swimming however for you who play uh, competition online often of course this will be super frustrating real talk here uh, the console port of Assetto Corsa Competition doesn't seem to have the same level of attention from Kunos as does the PC uh, release well we have to be fair it's not really Kunos that is doing the console releases for uh, PlayStation 5 and I believe the Xbox it is a company called Untold Games but that doesn't really absolve Kunos from this. Console Sim Racing hasn't had a highly focused Sim Racing game in its roster. We have Gran Turismo 7 uh, that has a very varied roster. On the Sim Racing side, we had Assetto Corsa. We also had uh, Project Cars 2, Dirt Rally. But in some about something so uh, truly focused in just one aspect of racing and one that has the support and also the media that SRO has, we haven't seen something like this. Uh, it doesn't happen with the Formula One games because there isn't really a crossover between the Formula One channel and the esports that they do, but it happens a lot with GT World and SRO. Because the console has such a big potential uh, player base and because the ACC um, esports part and GT World Challenge, uh, they kind of cross over really well on the YouTube channel. I think they need to have a far bigger attention to detail on the console release. To be fair, I actually like the PlayStation 5 release of Assetto Corsa Competizione, of course, minus the bugs, it has all the functionalities. It has really nice force feedback at the level of the PC. It has also FOV uh, personalization. You can change your field of view. So that means you can move your monitor closer or further away from you. If you race on a rig, that also helps. So you can mitigate the FOV as well. You can change the FOV, the height, all of that. You can also change your visual experience by changing the contrast, the saturation, the color calibration, and all of those small things. And basically the functionalities and gameplay are exactly the same as you have on a PC. So there is plenty to like and the performance isn't really that bad. I've been running it at 60 FPS, no problems whatsoever. Sometimes with a little bit of a hiccup, but you know, in terms of performance, it's actually very, very solid. As good as it is and as much as I want to like it, it is totally undeniable that the current state of the port on the consoles basically tarnishes and damages a lot the potential that this title has and also the image that Kunos 
has in sim racing, at least for console players. First of all, any bugs that appear in a console releases are taking their sweet darn time to be fixed, no matter what the release it has. This can often take months to be fixed. And of course, this is at the expense of already paying customers. You're not just paying the game, you're also paying for the DLCs and everything else. And then on top of it, everything that is a bug on the PC release has also an issue that can be transferred to the console counterpart. If it takes a little bit of time on a PC counterpart to get fixed, that means it takes just far more time in the consoles. Plus, you have to put on top whatever is a new bug for uh, the console release. So if you have, if you need to have something stable, and it doesn't seem to be the case of being stable in the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox, it can take months in order to get into a place where it, it's actually nice to use. The example of 1.9, the 1.9 was released back in April for the PC. It took it till the end of June to be released uh, in the consoles. That takes two months. And on those two months, it's not just a case of transferring the update. There are also issues or were issues that were fixed on a PC part, especially on a part of the tires. Uh, those took time and then you need to transfer those updates into the console. That also takes time. It takes a very, very big lag between PC and console. And then you have to fix everything together to have a stable release. Well, the 1.9 release was one of the, one of the fastest ones to be released on the consoles as well but it's still taking way too much time for paying customers to have like a decent experience. This time, I think Kunos really needs to step up and basically put the pressure to Untold Games to do their job or to fix all of these console releases, because we need to be fair, the, the console experience at the console prices aren't really that much different from the PC. If, I think they are even more expensive because you have to pay the game unless, of course, you get it on the Game Pass or whatever, but you still need to play the DLCs or pay for the DLCs. And then you have the situation that you need to pay for the online. You need to pay for the online experience, not on like on the PC where the online is free. So when you put everything together, the, the console release is more expensive than the PC. If I were more often a console user or console racer for a set of course of competition, I, was, I would be very, very much pissed. And I understand why people are pissed about this update. PC parts, it sometimes takes weeks to, to get a specific uh, problem fixed. And some of the minor ones aren't fixed at all. For example, BOP is always an issue on the PC. It was an issue until 1.8 with the Porsches and the Ferraris, no top speed and all of that. Um, and those, even if they aren't fixed, there's still some sort of uh, communication. You understand more or less where things are, but for the PC, for the console release, it feels like there's some aura of secrecy and there's no really no way to understand when the update is coming and if untold games or kunos are doing anything about it well there isn't really a solution i don't think a solution that will be foolproof uh the only thing that you really can do as a console player is raise awareness about this you know keep tagging mass tagging uh set Corsa on twitter or on socials to make sure they are aware with this and they reply maybe go on their forums I don't know, share this video with your friends that play a set of course a competizione, but I think the most important of it is that if you're thinking of buying the DLC, don't buy the DLC at all or any DLC at all, because companies only really reply or really understand when it hits their wallets and, you know, not buying the game or not buying the DLC or not getting it from Game Pass. Um, I think it's the best way to make sure that they act on it as fast as possible. The biggest problem for me now, let's even assume that they fix the 1.9 release and they update everything, the stability and whatever. I'm not really sure that they understand what the main issue is. It's not just the update itself because updates can have issues. It's the problem that they are not updating as fast as the game needs. So let's say there's a 1.10 update or a 2.0 update for a set of course of competition and we're going to be back at the same issue again. You know, it takes two months, three months to get the updates into the consoles and then another time, another big, big chunk of time to get it fixed if there are bugs in the consoles. You know, but that's just me. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this topic and your experiences with 1.9. I would like to thank all the channel members for the support. And if you want to be on the credits and to support the channels, 
why not become a channel member yourself?